let's see, uh, Jacqueline, or Jacqueline, uh, what is the craziest dream you've ever had? Oh boy, there's been many, um, and it usually involves a tidal wave. Um, Christina, what's the most interesting thing that's happened to you on the set of private practice? Um, so many interesting things, um, but I don't know. Probably they're all in the blooper reel, which I think is going to come out with the next season DVD. You can see all of us um, having interesting things happen to us on the blooper reel. So, uh, Christy, if you could describe yourself as a fruit, hmm, which would you choose and why? That sounds vaguely sexual. Um, and I can't really pick a fruit. I, all I can think is like the fruits that I like. I could never describe myself as a fruit. I mean, never say never, but um, I do like mango. Um, Emma, if you could see any place in any time, where and when would it be? Uh, first answer off the top of my head would be, um, what's that place, you know, where the dude was roaming the earth, Alexander the Great, Alexandria. I had to do that to remember. That would be my sword if I were Alexander riding a horse. All right, Alexandria. <laughs> um... Poor Derek. Derek's laughing because he's being tortured right now by having to do this. <laughs> All right, more on what I think. Um, C. Whitney Mills, what is your favorite dish that you like to cook? I love to cook pastas, and I love roast chicken. And then I just made fried chicken. I know, some of you were surprised. A fried for the, I used to make, um, I always make um, chicken cutlets, which are my grandmother's recipe. Um, this, notice this is the first time I put down the paper and start talking with my hands, food. Um, so uh, the fried chicken was a whole new experience and I really was thrilled with the results. It was a little rocky there. It was like a perfect allegory for life. I was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Actually, I think it's going to be a big disaster, but I, I, I worked on through it. There were a couple of pieces that were miserable. And then we summited the fried chicken mountain and came down the other side and it was really badass. So that was really fun to make and I will make it again. Um, Lee, who do you like to follow on Twitter? Joel McHale, he's really funny. Sarah Silverman, I like to follow people that make me laugh. Um, and Wanda Sykes, I follow her. Alright, there you have it. Um, Adam, there's this girl that I'm head over heels for, but can, I can't tell if she's seriously interested in me. How do you think I should broach the subject? Jeez, I don't know, Adam. I just say, what's up? I dig you. Let's go. No, maybe not. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, rack underscore ang. Do you like doing stuff outdoors like gardening or hiking? Yes. In fact, um, I hike a lot as often as I can with my dogs in um, Los Angeles. I love it. And um, I used to hike a lot more, like more extensively, but I just don't have the time. And gardening I do love, but again, it's a matter of time. So, uh, but I was just pruning the geraniums the other day. I don't want to brag. Cutting down the tree. Oh, yeah. And there was a picture of me. I couldn't send it uh, after a huge windstorm in L.A. where I, right before the Memorial Day barbecue, uh, I had my olive tree got blown over half of it, and I had to get an axe and hack at it. And Well, actually, I took, like, two hacks, and then Vicky, uh, my friend, took over and just finished the job. But we dragged the tree out of the yard in time for it um, so children wouldn't, you know, grieve the loss of that tree. Uh, oddly, right after I saw the Tree of Life, that tree got knocked over. It was, I was like, oh. um, Anyway, um, <laughs> Meredith, what are a few mottos that you live your life by? Um, I don't know what changes. I try to have fun. Fun. Every day, I try to have fun. Even if there's the most adverse of times or difficult circumstances, try to have fun. And I'm trying to get more sleep. I think as a nation, we're very underslept. We need to sleep more. Change it. Lack of sleep is like a bad, bad drug, I think. People get all crazy and twisty and weird. I mean, someone said to me recently, get on an airplane and, sit, and you just look around and see how many people are sleeping, like immediately. It's a sign of a nation that needs to sleep more. So sleep and drink lots of water. Um... Alexis, Alexis, do you have any tips on how to get started in show business? Um, I don't. I would say if you love to act, go do plays, go do whatever you can, and take classes, and uh, just do it, as the old Nike tennis shoes say. Um, Poplavna, 
when did you start meditating and did you find it difficult in the beginning? Any tips you can share? I started meditating. I mean, I've always meditated on and off, but I started seriously in July of last year. And um, I started doing a Vedic or it's like TM, 20 minutes twice a day, the mantra. Um, I always think whenever in doubt, get help. Go look it up. Go online. Start looking it up, researching it. If you don't want to do it, it's a solo practice, but you can get support or training. Do that. It cha changes everything, though. I think it's very good for you. Um, David Lynch is doing amazing things with TM. You should go online and see what he's doing. Incredible stuff. Public schools, prisons, people, people. You need to slow down and drop in. All right. Uh, enough about what I think. But you're asking me these questions. I feel compelled to answer. Um, Rachel, can you do any accents? Yes, but only when I'm paid for them. Or, um, or if I'm improvising or doing something on stage. But yeah, that's fun. Who doesn't like to do accents? I don't know if I'm any good, but I do like, I, I do them. Barb, what are you enjoying most about Pittsburgh? Have you, um, have you uh, tried a Pramati Brothers sandwich yet? No, I haven't gotten to it yet. I have not, Barb, but I, I hope to, because I'm going back there soon. Um, but I do love that it feels like a different time there. Like, um, you know, it's the sort of the small town aspect of it, and the, um, the brick buildings and the stone, and I like that. And um, and also, I think uh, the city, part of it reminds me a little bit of Chicago. I used to live in Chicago, so I like that. There's something familiar about that. I have had the peanut butter meltaways, and I've had chocolate-covered pretzels. I forget where they're from, but they're from that place that you know about, and I can't remember the name of, but they're good. Um, all right. Uh, chocolate mama. Uh, did you read Perks of Being a Wallflower for pleasure or to understand your character more? I read the script for it first. I'm still finishing the book, which honestly I feel quite ashamed of because you could read it in a day. It's so good and easy and delicious. Um, but the, the script itself, because obviously it's adapted from the book and Stephen Shavosky did both, is very literary and just beautiful and mind-blowing and it's going to be amazing. It's really, really inspired and important, and uh, it's awesome. Okay, uh, I'm going to say Kara or Chara, spelled C-H-A-R-A. What do you like most about your perks of being a wildflower character? Um, I'm playing the mom, and I love it. I love the, I love Charlie's character. I love all the kids in the movie. I love. Um, I love. I think everybody's been one of these characters in this. In this, in this story. Everybody's been a mother of a child who's having a difficulty coming of age. Everybody's been um, that kid. Everyone's been um, the odd kid or um, the, you know, the superstar in high school or not. I don't know. I just love all of it. And I was really looking forward to playing a character that nurtures this kid. And um, yeah, so hopefully I'm, I have to, you know, hopefully it's going all right. Uh, is this Ania or Anya? What did you uh, what did you used to do during the summer when school was out? Um, well, when I was from fourteen on, I worked a summer job always. It's not one in my house. Like, gotta get a job. But I also um, played, and sometimes uh, my parents were divorced. So I would go back from Tucson to California and visit my dad and friends in California. Go to the beach, go camping, hang out with friends, go to the pool. You know roam the streets, playing tag and chase and crank calling people and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, oh, here's another one from Chocolate Mama. What's up, girl? Would you consider taking fan ideas for new boyfriend web commercials? Yes, I would. Why not? Bring it. I love it. Um, I'm loving what fans are doing already with the boyfriend stuff. It's really inspiring and awesome and kind of exactly what I wanted, which is a community of people talking about this. And um, So, yeah, that's all. Thank you, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.